Great, the Lubu Transformation Night is available. It is an event. There is one free hat you can get from completing or doing playing this event. It's not that complicated to do, but it's kind of a mini metaverse event, basically. So we'll, we'll go over what you need to do to get this hat right here. It's this one right here, the, uh, the uh, Neon Demon Headphones, whatever it's called. I have them in inventory. I'll show you guys real quick so you guys think I'm not, I'm not lying. I did get it. Look, ready? Right here. We're, in a, we're, on, we're on the website. We're going to go to our inventory. There it is. We own it. Go to the page. Item owns. Simple as that. But is it simple to get? I'll explain. All right. So this game, you're going to head over to the rewards exchange. And there's things called shiny balls. This is the currency for the game. Um, and you'll see that you can, it's locked. You can't buy it. It will say locked like this. And the only thing you can buy is this headband or whatever. And it costs 200 shiny balls. Once you buy this, the first one, it will unlock this one, which costs 300 shiny balls. Then, once you buy this, this will cost 400. So you're going to need uh, math. Uh, it's, a, it's a 800 shiny balls. The math correct. 200 plus 300 is 500 plus 400, 900. Something like that. I don't remember. It's it's a long night already. Um, 900 balls. So you need that amount to get to here. And so how do we get these shiny balls? There's just two things you can do, or three things. One, which if you want to, if you have over 10 friends that are active, you can invite them. You have to invite them in the game and then they join off you. They can't be in the game already, right? Or you can make 10 alt accounts and invite them and then join. They join the game and you get, you get it. I think they'd be in the game as well. So we have to use the Microsoft app. Second way to get points is dancing. There is, you can do it 20 times. When you pick dance, there'll be a 15 second timer and you'll get five balls per 15 seconds and you do it 20. So 20 times five is a uh, hundred. Yeah, a hundred. But if you have a friend in the server that is also dancing on a dance floor, you'll get 15 every 15 seconds. So that's 300 points for 20 times per day. So you can get at the very most, at least 300 points at the beginning, but to do it for, you know, 20 times pretty much. So do that to one. That's what I, you should do. 300 points is quite a lot. And lastly, the last way to get points that is not a infinite grind is you head over to the missions here, click on mission. And you can see this list here of games. Now this, this game, this event lasts for 20 days, as you can tell, it's a timer. And each of these games has a badge and you get the badge and you come back to the game, you get a hundred points. You can get, so you can get 2000 points from doing all 20 games, but you don't need to do all of it. If you just want to get the headphones, right? So I did seven. I messed up. I could have gotten, you only do six if you do it correctly. Um, but seven just because why not? So I'm going to go over, um, how to get all the ones that I did pretty much, um, and explain, uh, how I did them. Okay. So first ones we did was building blocks simulator. This one's really easy to do. Pretty sure. All I did for this one was you had to go to your tycoon or plot, whatever, which is the one that spawns here. And you want to go ahead and touch this area over here. And then the way it works, you have to, then there'll be pieces on the floor. You touch them and you go back and forth and you're building this, you're building this ice cream shop. Once you finish building it, it will give you the badge. Pretty much, that's it. I get it's just gonna complete the first thing, and you get it done, and you get the. The next one, um, we did was the the one beside it, which is the dinosaur city simulator. All we need to do here was very simple, nothing too difficult. You just join the game, and you be put into the lobby, and all you do is push a red button on the floor, which is, I mean, that one's fast. I don't know. There's some. There's some is probably really fast, but some of them are really hard. So it's you choose what you want to do, but the ones I've chosen uh, are picked here um, are pretty simple to do. It's just some of them most, this is a Lubu, Lubu, you know, uh, events, most games, not all, but most are Chinese. So you won't probably understand some of this stuff. I don't understand them either, but that's, it's, it's a guess. So all you do is just step on this red button over here where this guy is, and then you get the badge pretty much. 
that's it for that one. Um, after that, we're gonna go to the next one here. Let's see, what's the next? What's the next one I did? Something really confusing. I can't figure it out, so I try my best. Um, survival of Doomsday so similar. This one is not hard to do. It's a couple things. This one's really easy. The game is very simple. All you do is pick up ten candy. So there's a couple of things you need to note, though. So the candy it just spawns in this refugee area, as they call it, and it will sparkle green. You can double jump high to get to high spots. All you need to do is find some sparkles on the floor. And you pick and you hold E on and you pick them up. And so what happens is that you can't, your backpack you can only hold uh, ten items at most, right? So if you, sometimes it might get full and you might not notice that. So you want to go and hold E and pick them up. But then if your inventory is full, you have to eat them or something like that. If you eat them, you go faster, which is also pretty good. So eat them, and then you can walk faster. Um, and then inventory gets full. And then once you get all 10 candy, which uh, it doesn't tell you where unless you click on here. If you click here, it will tell you um, once you get 10 in total, you click on the claim button at the top here, and you'll get it done. So that's three. So we did three already. So that's what, that's what I did for that one. So pick up 10 candy that sparkles. If your backpack's full, eat them. And you want to eat at least one so you, your movement speed's fast. That's because it makes life easier when your movement speed is fast. The next one, I skipped a wolf or other because I don't know what it is. You can check. It's hard to, not hard to check, but I don't know. We did cool obby too. This one's very easy. It's very simple. All you do is basically join the game and there's a portal. Uh... What? Hey, wait a minute. Where am I? Oh, yeah. I pick up Pumpkin Festival. Yes. Click on the Pumpkin Festival on the right side here. Then you can just jump around, and there's pumpkins that spawn around the map. They they're not they're not they're not I'm not saying random, but they're not unique. You can you can they they always keep spawning. Uh, mostly there's not there's not ten on the map right now. Just keep running around, zoom out, and you'll find them around the map. Pretty much so. Just keep running around the map and you get that. So that's four. We did four. That's 400 points right there. Plus the 300. So 700 points. We need two more. Two more. We need uh, two more missions or three if you messed up already. That's okay. Or you could just do 10 alt accounts and you're good to go. I mean, it's up to you. I didn't do that because I don't know. That's my, probably faster. Then we did egg simulator. This one might be a little bit harder because you need some progression. This game is old. Um, all I did is the, the quests. The quest for it so just to go quickly over it i'm not going to show everything because it's very simple to do um but if you don't never play before probably not to do, probably not the best to do this one but i did it because i've played the game before so i know what to do uh, basically so all you do is click on the quest on the bottom left here the pumpkin thing and to complete all the challenges which is pick up pumpkins hatch eggs you know the pumpkins on the they're right here you know pick them up you need to cut a hundred in total, which might seem a lot, but if you're a noob, you're pretty slow, so that's why it's a bit difficult. See, I'm pretty big already, but not the biggest. But you know, it's, it's, like I said, you gotta hatch pets, do all this stuff. Um, like uh, when you when you want to hatch pets, you go to the shop, you click on pets, and you open them up. It's a simulator, pretty simple stuff. Just finish the entire quest board for that uh, UI or GUI, and you get that done for that badge there. Next up, um, what else did we do? Um, that's six or that's either you know we did. What was it? One, one, two, three, four. I did five. Uh, like we still before growing up is pretty easy. It requires you to walk around a lot. So all we wanted to do is find six brooms around the map, and they're all easy to find, um, pretty much. So basically, you talk, you go to this witch, and she tells you where they are. So I'll tell you the spots where they are. So there's one here on so they're both both so there's two brooms in both the schools three brooms in each house or one one broom per house and then one on the gas station so the one is here right and then you just go to the houses and you'll just walk inside them and walk around the room so each each, each of these houses will have one high school it's in the uh, theater or it's the gym area and then at the very back of it and then the to get this one up here you have to go ahead inside the gas station and then click on the blue gravity coil and then jump up here is what I did. And then it's a pretty tough jump here, but you can make it. Unless there's a better way to do it. Um, but yeah, that's how, what I did to get up here. So I do some parkour like that, I guess. All right. 
that's like six we did that's 600 points which is enough but i did an extra one so i'll just i'll go over it because since you know some people might need it i guess the last one i did was a uh, demon hunter this one's very easy to do if you don't want to do the other ones probably do this one uh, demon hunter already to do it's like a small tutorial but then you can talk to uh, this pumpkin kid over here pumpkin guy whatever and you talk to him and he wants you to pick up 10 candy and the candy spawns on the map uh once you finish the candy they, they glow they sparkle pick them up and then you just go back to this guy and click uh, click get and, and then you're done that's it it's very simple you should have go collect the candy they're everywhere uh i can't see them because they're, they're not client side but you need to have the quest available to see them i don't, I don't know if there's 10 in total like i think they just keep, they respawn i think i don't know but that's all i did there's probably easier ones there were probably there's a lot of hard ones i'll tell you that already um there's badges for getting all oh, 20 you can do that if you want i'm not sure what's what's if it's worth it or not i don't care about the clothing there's clothing you can get i don't i honestly don't care at all but the, the all i care about is the the headphones so we're here for and then you can get i don't know what what's the point of this i'm assuming i don't know what this is i'm assuming this is just it's just the, the package you get again which we have already so you don't need it you don't need it if you already have it um but the clothes are here they're locked i don't know how to unlock them i really don't know they're just they're they're different colors i don't know i'll be honest but uh if you want just cheese it you could just do alt accounts pretty much and you know do that but that's up to you there you go hope it helped it's a long video but it's a mini metaverse game and you know chest hunt and points and stuff hopefully it helped it's okay but it's headphones it's pretty easy to do on my opinion so there you go hope it helped